In order to live a life that was considerably different from the one they had in the UK, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle left their positions as senior members of the royal family and moved to the United States. Prince William and Prince Harry, siblings, are raising their children quite similarly despite living 5,000 miles apart. Here are some key similarities in the upbringing of Harry and Meghan's two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, and William and Kate's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Prince William and Princess Kate relocated to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor last summer, reportedly seeking a life away from the Goldfish Bowl of London. This gives their children a chance to roam a little more freely than they could in the city when they resided at apartment 1A inside Kensington Palace. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have made no secret of the fact that they made their US move in order to live a more private life away from the spotlight, not happy with how the British press treated them when they lived in the UK. Both families have a strong connection to nature and the great outdoors, possibly due to William and Harry's many childhood years spent on outdoor pursuits at Balmoral Castle. The Wales family often get stuck into bike riding, sailing, hiking and skiing with their children. Over in Montecito, the Sussexes estate is also perfectly positioned for them to embark on many outdoor activities such as hilltop hiking. Their Netflix docuseries also showed other outdoor pastimes like feeding the chickens, playing football and touring their seemingly never-ending gardens. As working royals, William and Kate have busy work schedules, but they try their best to work their official engagement schedule around school drop-off and pick-up where possible. Similarly, Harry and Meghan have a focus on spending quality time with their kids. When the Duchess penned an open letter to members of the United States Congress in support of a comprehensive paid leave program for new parents, she revealed their dedication to raising their children. My husband and I had our second child in June. Like any good parent, we were ecstatic. Like a lot of parents, we felt overburdened. We weren't faced with the painful choice of staying at home with our infant during those crucial first few months or returning to work, unlike fewer parents. We were confident that we could take her into our house and give our children and our family our undivided attention during that crucial, and sacred, moment. We were aware that by doing this, we would avoid having to make the difficult decisions regarding childcare, employment, and medical care that so many others face on a daily basis. There is no doubt that the royal cousins will be brought up with the most impeccable manners. We've recently seen Prince William prompt his youngest son Prince Louis to shake hands with staff during a visit to the Royal International Air Tattoo in Fairford. In Meghan Markle's interview with The Cut, she revealed that manners were also a key parenting focus for them. Both the Wales children and the Sussex kids are fortunate enough to have their grandparents around to help. Carol and Michael Middleton live really close to William and Kate, in nearby Berkshire and so they are heavily involved in raising the young royals. It is believed the three children also spend time with King Charles and step-grandmother Queen Camilla. In the Netflix series, we saw Doria Ragland participate in loads of family fun, which demonstrated how important she is to her grandchildren's lives. Archie and Lilibet, however, do not frequently get to visit their British grandparent. <laughs>